Since the necromancy launch, I've seen something that's been discussed a hell of a lot on Reddit, on Twitter, in Discord, in game, uh, and in my live chats as well, about the actual way that combat was rescaled in terms of XP and difficulty for leveling up. Now, this is for the newer players and for the people who are returning to the game, of course, because max players are already maxed. They don't need to worry about this. But this is an important part of the game, the actual progress from being a new player or a returning player who maybe starts over and then trying to level up your combat is a huge part of retaining these returning and new players as well and keeping the player base alive. Now, while I agree that rebalancing combat for the necromancy launch was probably a good thing in terms of like healthiness for the skill, maybe now some time after the actual release of the skill, it needs to be reconsidered and looked at and maybe scaled again in a better way. The new player experience in terms of leveling up right now is a hell of a long grind and it is something that kind of pushes people away from not progressing through leveling up. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of Reddit posts that I want to read through and discuss the topic of this, uh, just to get a perspective of some other players. And then also there's another topic on the new player experience that I want to mention at the end of the video as well. So we have three posts. I'm going to have a quick look through from different people and we're going to read through them and just see what people are saying and take our thoughts as well. So this person here says, Jagex completely ruined combat training for new accounts. So seriously, what were they thinking? Making every monster hit like a truck while giving barely any XP. I just came back to RuneScape 3 and made an Iron Man and the best XP methods at 70s barely reach 100k an hour while making you have to bank to get more food all the time. I haven't done necromancy yet, but it seems like that's the only combat skill that you can actually train right now. I'm having a hard time actually getting myself to play the game when training combat is this difficult. Not hard, just incredibly time consuming and frustrating. Then it says, am I too used to the old XP rates or are we actually just supposed to enjoy these old school RuneScape like XP rates? Now, personally, right? You probably are too used to the old XP rates, but this is the thing you can't, you can't, just drop that all of a sudden. And the, the upside and the thing I always kind of liked about RuneScape 3 was saying that, you know, if people ask, should I play old school RuneScape or RuneScape 3? One of the biggest things was if you are an older like adult and you don't have really have time to sit and grind away for hours and hours and hours on end, then RuneScape 3 is the better option for you because you have the actual like faster XP rates and you can get into the content a lot quicker. That was one of the benefits about RuneScape. And it was a lot faster to reach towards the end game. Now, this isn't an issue because let's be honest, the end game is where the content is for a lot of people. And it's not ideal to want to be just leveling up your combat in a frustrating, slow way uh, in the game. It's a little bit unfortunate. This person here says, totally agree that combat training is a mess right now for new accounts. Jagex, for whatever reason, felt like that all combat XP was broken just because ED3 needed a nerf. Everyone in the community giving Jagex the green light uh, with this nerf because they already had abused the old rates and not realizing how shit this is for new players. Um, this person says not everyone gets the green light, uh, but basically, I don't think everyone just gave the green light on, on this. I think people were like, yeah, this is a good idea. We need to rebalance it for Necro. It makes sense. But that was more for the sense of like, we don't want to get Necro out. And then all we do is go and grind this one method until level 99 and it takes five hours to get to 99 and then we're done. 120 takes 10 hours, that's it. It would have made the skill insanely boring, so it definitely was needed for that. However, it seems like the new player experience has been affected by it and so it is a little bit of a downside and maybe needs considering in a rebalance. Whether you can just separate the XP rates and necromancy separate or not, I don't know. Uh, but let's have a look at the next one. This post says, combat is different now, what happened? Uh, it says, red spiders I was training on before and now smoking me. Please tell me what the F happened. And moss giants have more XP than a red spider. So it seems like this person maybe took a little break, came back, and they were training on red spiders when they left. Now they're training on red spiders again and they're getting their ass handed to them. <laughs> and they're also getting less XP as well, which is unfortunate. But can you imagine if you did, you took a break, you were like, yeah, I'm leveling on these red spiders and I'm, I'm having fun. And then you take a break from the game and you come back a little while later just to find out that you can no longer kill these red spiders. You would be like, wait, what the frick? And how many people do you think that do this actually come to Reddit to ask this question? Like, this guy was clearly like, well, I, I want to know what's going on. I, I liked the game. I don't want to stop playing the game. Let's, let's go to Reddit. Whereas most people probably just go, well, this is shit, and then close the game and move on to something else, especially if they've not played for a while. 
This person says, uh, Jagex and their brilliance decided that they need to revert the XP system. Is this the same person? No. Okay. Um, they need to revert the XP system that's been in place since EOC first released. And in the process, they jacked the stats of mid-game monsters up by a absurd degree. Then they, uh, they, then they neglected to test these buffs on mid-game accounts, shipped it, and promptly blacked out on... Okay, 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 okay. Basically, um ruining the new player experience so yeah it's um it is something that definitely needs to be addressed one thing that kind of sucks is there's no jmod reply to any of these um which is unfortunate because that would definitely be good it would be nice to see but let's go to the next one this is the, the last one we're going to take a look at and it says can someone explain to me the logic behind can someone explain the logic behind a low level a uh, low mid level combat level 77 monster hitting a combat level 85 with 60 defense and 67 magic constantly for 800 to 900 damage by the way for anyone who doesn't know you that's that's, that's a lot for someone that level that does a lot of damage like holy hell what was the uh thought process here ed3 needs to be nerfed so we nerf all combat let's make necromancy shine <laughs> like this brings absolutely nothing good to the game there is zero upside so there's just downsides new players must feel like crap when they train and grind combat skills to 60 to 70s get assigned a slayer task and get absurdly smacked by these vile creatures this needs to be addressed some mods need to look at the numbers again and do something about it it's been too long so again it's the same sort of thing uh people are just getting like absolutely smacked around and there's it's, it's like taking a long ass time to, to do stuff but also someone here is saying uh further down i think i read earlier was that uh, they they can't level up with slayer anymore so this person says i'm quite new to the game We'll say my plan with Slayer was to see what the monster uh, was weak to on each task to consistently level up combat. It's pretty smart for a new player, for someone who doesn't know the game inside out. It's very clever. However, when I tried that and was getting my ass handed to me, even though my level was quite a bit higher than the monster, I soon gave up. It's a shame, really, because I really like the concept of Slayer and all the monsters I was potentially going to have uh, to be having a go with, but have been forced into a Necro and now my combat and Slayer levels are just kind of being forgotten about. I'm going to have to level them up at some point, but I'm not looking forward to it at all. So this person wanted to go and do Slayer to actually level the thing up. And I actually made a video recently saying if you're going to level up your combat, you should do it in Slayer. But it's kind of sad to see that you might not be able to do that anymore. You might hit a wall at some point and just get absolutely smacked around, which is unfortunate. It really is. Um, and Necromancy is a hell of a lot stronger than the styles, and we know that's being addressed in the terms of balancing, uh, but maybe we need to address the actual experience rates and difficulty of leveling up as a new player as well. Because while it shouldn't just be like a, like a let's go and AFK in a place for six hours because that's pretty boring, it should still be something that doesn't feel like tedious thing to do it needs to be enjoyable and feel like you it was worth the time to do so that's the post that i wanted to cover and give a little bit of context of where this is coming from uh, and uh, personally i just think that the goal around the early game for a new player towards the mid and then end game when you're leveling up your account is the the leveling progress should be part of the game as well if it's going to be slow if it's going to take time that's okay as long as it's fun to do if it's not fun to do, if it's tedious and just frustrating and doesn't really make sense why everything's so damn difficult and if you're killing a level 70 monster and you're level 85, you shouldn't feel like you're struggling against that. That's crazy. The leveling experience should be fun. It should be enjoyable and it should be part of the actual content as well, especially in RuneScape. This has been the, like the big thing for RuneScape since it's released, right? So having it like this compared to what it used to be it's a little bit confusing so that's the thing that's going on right now with the discussions about the actual combat rebalance since necromancy released uh, and personally i think it definitely does need addressing however i do also think that the new player experience in runescape overall just needs a massive overhaul it really really does and it's going to be hard to get right we've had so many different tutorials we've had so many different like starting zones and whatnot with, with the game and it's always kind of reverted back to the original and then now we've got birth open and stuff but we don't even have necromancy included in the the new player experience which is absolutely crazy necromancy is designed for the newer players it's designed to get people into combat and understand it better it's more convenient it's stronger and it fits the game better and it is definitely something that more newer players would probably be better off doing first than anything else so personally i think it would be an amazing thing to see if jagex reworked the new player experience with necromancy at the core but then just included other stuff along the way i have always thought that runescape 3 the way it is now 
kind of needs to hold your hand just a little bit more to get you into the game, teach you about the game a little bit, and get you to do certain things. Whether it is uh, an NPC teaches you about all the different skills and you go through and do like a tutorial for all of them to show you about wood cutting and then herb lore and farming and it gets you to your first farm run to explain that. When you start a new skill, there should be a tutorial for that skill. So for example, you're going to start fishing, you talk to a fisherman and he takes you to the actual place to fish for it. Then he explains and it shows like a little cutscene and go around all the different zones around the map to say that you get different fish from different places and they're worth different amounts of GP and they're worth different experience rates and all this sort of stuff and heal differently and what the point of actually fishing stronger stuff is. All of this sort of stuff. I do feel like the beginning of experience in the game needs to try and introduce you into how the game functions a lot better as well while also the amazing new skill that you implemented into the game please make it a core of the new player experience for crying out loud please do that personally i do think the new player experience in runescape needs a lot of attention and a lot of work what do you guys think let me know in the comments maybe i'll make a video soon about things that they could change about the new player experience or so five five things ten things i would love to see for a new player experience in runescape maybe something like that if you have any ideas drop them in the comments down below but otherwise i wanted to just talk about this because i thought it was interesting and i'll catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye